I love Harry Potter Lego and I have a gigantic amount of it in my collection. So when Lego brought out this new Lego Harry Potter set, I naturally ran out and bought it. The problem is, I think it's rubbish. Huh? So in this video I plan to remake this set how LEGO should have made it in the first place. So to help me do this I've gone back out to the store and bought two more of these sets and two Porky Pig minifigures. You'll see why those are coming in use in a minute. So as you know this LEGO set is based on the second task of the Triwizard Tournament and even though LEGO have replicated some of the aspects from that scene in this set we're still left with a tiny observation deck, a minuscule underwater archway and also only about half of the relevant characters from the scene. So hopefully three of these sets together can help fix all of these problems. So starting work on the observation deck, I wanted to make it taller and more grandiose, like it is in the film. And to do this, I got together all three of the observation decks from the three sets and entirely deconstructed them. I then started my rebuild by placing a bigger footprint of blue water plates at the bottom. This makes the deck twice as wide, while also having a patch of water for the contestants to dive into. I then built up the diver's deck from here until we reach our first observation stand. This is a place for students, teachers and judges to stand and watch the second task. So let's populate this area with some of those minifigures now. We're going to put in place Dumbledore, Madame Maxime, Draco Malfoy and a character who is very relevant to the scene in this film but who has also never been made as an official minifigure before and that's my very own custom made Barty Crouch Senior. Building upwards again and this thing is getting very tall. We get to the top of the structure where we have a watchtower. We also are going to place a ladder hanging down below to allow for people to climb up to it from the observation platform. By the way guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you. The build for the watchtower is very similar to the build in the official set, but it's just elongated to make it wider and taller. Inside we're going to place an onlooking Mad Eye Moody minifigure who's busy in there plotting out how he's going to gift Harry to Voldemort. <laughs> It's now time to fix the minifigures who will be diving off of this insanely awesome structure, starting with Harry. As you know in this scene from the film, he's wearing black swim shorts, but the official LEGO minifigure portrays him wearing trousers for some reason. Now unfortunately, LEGO is yet to make medium sized minifigure legs wearing black shorts. So I'm going to do what they did in an earlier 2005 version of this set and give him skin toned legs with a black belt section to represent the shorts. Unfortunately the only medium sized minifigure legs that are skin tone came with this Porky Pig minifigure which has some printing on the feet but thanks to the use of sandpaper we can rub these prints right off and before we know it we have a perfect Harry Potter minifigure for this scene. For Victor Crumb, the same issue applies with the official LEGO minifigure not wearing red shorts like he's wearing in the film, so I ordered these custom printed red shorts off of Firestar Toys and now we have a far more accurate version of this figure. Now unfortunately LEGO didn't think to include the other two contestants in the set as minifigures, so we're missing Cedric Diggory and Fleur Delacour. But we're not going to let that stop us in our pursuit to make the perfect LEGO model from this scene. This does mean though that we're going to have to make these minifigures from scratch. I picked the Cedric Diggory minifigure from the LEGO Harry Potter collectible minifigure series as his attire best matches what he is wearing at the second task. I'm then going to be using these LEGO Batman legs for him which unfortunately does have the Batman logo printed on it but we can just rub that logo right off with a bit of sandpaper to have him wearing black swim shorts just like he does in this scene and look how much better that looks. With Fleur Delacour it's a bit more tricky, 
The most similar minifigure to use would be this Fleur figure in her silver dress because she's wearing silver attire in this scene. So I'm going to replace the bottom section with the same shorter Porky Pig legs as I'm using for Harry with the print rubbed off thanks to the use of some sandpaper. The shorter legs are most appropriate here as Fleur and Harry are roughly the same height in this scene. And with all of that done, we have all four of the Triwizard Tournament contestants. Now now let's go ahead and start constructing the underwater archway. Now right off the bat, the underwater archway used in the set is just way too small and has two spots for the hostages when there's meant to be four hostages in this scene. So what I'm going to do is, you guessed it, deconstruct the three archways from the set and build a giant one from scratch using the same pieces. I made the base of archway twice as wide and put a plate up front to add some underwater terrain. I also constructed these two identical structures in the middle which will hold up the other two hostages which are not included as minifigures in this set. These are Gabrielle which came as a minifigure in the Lego Beau Baton carriage set from a few years ago which we can use here as she actually has a sleepy face print in that set thankfully. We just gotta replace the hat with some long blonde hair and we're all done with her. The other hostage is Cho Chang, which also has been made as a minifigure before, but with no sleepy face unfortunately. So we're going to have to just use the sleepy face from one of my spare Hermione Granger minifigures, which does change the skin tone slightly, but there's not really anything I can do about that unfortunately. But with that done, we now have all four hostages anchored into the base of this archway. Continuing with the build, we're going to build up to roughly the height of the observation deck, which is very tall indeed. I'm making sure to add as much detail as I can as I go. I'm also going to attach some transparent Quidditch pole pieces to the archway structure and place some of the Mer people and Grindelow minifigures on the ends, something the official set should have had to be honest. This way you get the impression that they're swimming underwater. But it's okay, we'll do it for our custom build instead. Towards the bottom of the archway build, I'm going to just fill out the area with some plants and seaweed. Thankfully, I have a small collection of pieces which will help me do just that. I'm also going to go ahead and put one of the boat builds from the set here on the seabed to give the sort of effect of a sunken vessel. And this is all just final touches to what's become quite an outstanding model. Once we step back and observe it in all its glory, I'm really happy with the outcome and wish the official set resembled something closer to this rather than what we got, especially in the minifigure department, as that was just so lacking. But we've managed to fix all of that which I'm very happy with. I think we proved a point here. Even though LEGO sometimes makes imperfect sets, it only takes a bit of imagination to take those sets to the standards you inspire them to be at. And with that, I'll see you next time.